Hey drummers, how's it going? It's Alex once again, bringing you some more fun free drumming ideas. For this week's lesson, we've got like this nice two bar sequence that I've put together. Um, it's got a polyrhythm sort of vibe to it. Um, our feet are going to be going up underneath, so like one and two and three and four and. But over the top of that, we're going to start off, I think the best way is you want to learn how to do some accents, and I'll show you some of the things you can do once you get this pattern down. Um, we're going to start off by just sort of learning where those accents can be by moving our right and our left hands at the toms. So our hands will be playing like one, two, three, 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 four. We're going to take it and turn it into like a bit of a groove by making a two bar sequence with like a little five stroke roll or like, you know, two doubles on the and of the other beat four. Um, and then we'll crack the snare on beat four the second time round to give us like a half time back beat feel. Um, and then on top of that, I'll show you what you can do um, once you've got this pattern down and then you turn those tom hits into accents. So, with all that said, and uh, if you like what you saw in the intro and you want to give it a crack, stick around and I'll break it down. Here we go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna look at is the hand pattern. Now I'm gonna play it first. It's two bars long. The only difference is um, for the second round, instead of playing Floor snare, 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 I'm gonna play snare, high tom, floor tom, floor tom. I'll play it and then I'll show it to you. So here we go. I guess the easiest way to approach that, I think, like, just to get you actually playing it, you should think one, two, three, 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 four. That's the first measure. The second measure is exactly the same rhythm, which is gonna sort of move where the hands go. But we're not playing in triplets. It's not like one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, five triplet, and it's it's still in 16th notes. We're technically playing on the one E and a, two E and a, what is it? One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. That will become more apparent when we put the kick underneath. Um, but just practice going around, and then when you get comfortable, just start speeding up a little bit. So I'll just do that now. Now I'm flicking the wrist a little bit when I'm hitting those toms, I want those to pop because eventually they will become the accent so you get or if you play it on the toms. Now once you get that down, that's kind of the, the easy bit. The next thing we need to do is we need to get the bass drum thinking of one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. This is where it gets a bit tricky. Now, a couple of little tips. Your bass drum is gonna land with your first right hand, um, which will be an accent on the floor top. Um, it's also gonna be, if we in measure one, it's basically gonna be like the first and last right handed accent. So that'd be on both your floor toms at the beginning and the end. Now, in relation to where it's going to land when it comes to like your left hand up on the high tom and your right hand on the floor tom, your left hand, your high tom is going to land before the, just before the second kick, your right floor tom is going to land halfway in between kicks two and three, and then your next left hand is going to be just after that third one. I'll try and go through it slowly. Well, I won't try it, I'll go through it slowly. Let's go a little bit faster, and then what I'll do is I'll just play that little snare high floor floor. Um, so at the end, at the second or every other bar, so we're thinking this is like an A B format of B. So you had that kick, do 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 kick as you go back round to the beginning. So that would sound a bit like this.
Let's crank that up a little bit. Now when I'm playing that, I'm concentrating on making all those snare drums really low. It's, it's the, the tom melody that I want to, to interact with the kick. The rest of the snare drums, they're just there. They're just sort of like the song pep. They just keep it nice and spicy sounding. But when you get to that, like, da 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 at the end, as I sort of round off the end of that second measure, go loud and proud. So you've got ba boom boom boom. All right, the rest of the time, think about making those snare drums ghost notes. It'd be much more effective than going, With the uh, like dynamics in there. All right, and now at that point there, I started adding in the little double stroke at the end of the first measure. And all that's going on there is we're playing four E and a uh, one. Okay, so it's right, left, right, right, left, left, bang. Okay, and we'd have a kick on the first and last blow. So that would sound like this. Right, left, right, left, left, bang. All right, so this, I play that slowly. This could go wrong. There's so much more space and time for things to go wrong at that speed. But it sounds, if you can get it, if you can control it there, you're on the right path. So that's where we just added that nice sort of little, little delicate embellishment. That's not, you don't have to put that in. I just quite like the sound of it because <clears throat> anytime you're going to start down, you can get like a little. Right, so the next thing is once you've got that down, you've got the dynamic sorted, you're not hitting the snare drum too loud, you've got the toms nicely interacting um, with that bass drum pattern. See if you can bring your left foot in there. So that's just me going on one and two and just sort of walking. I'm not overly keen on this hi-hat pedal, I'm not gonna lie, so if this sounds crap on your end, it's not me, it's the pedal. Let's speed this up a little bit, it starts to come to life. So that is the actual pattern. There's not actually much more to it, but what you can do is once you've got that down, just remember where those tom accents are. So I'll do exactly the same. I'm just gonna stay on the snare drum, so you'll get. Off the toms. And you might start recognizing some songs you already know where you're like, that's what they're doing there. For me, that was the case. Sometimes you sort of stumble across something, then you hear it like slightly sped up or move to a different part of the kit. You're like, that's what that guy was doing the entire time that I've never been able to work out. It might be one of those. You can do it off the hi hat, this sounds great. Maybe not on this thing. If you want, you can maybe go for that sound thing. There's some little ideas you can play around with. But that's generally it, just have a go at that hand pattern. So don't forget, if I go back nice and slow, no kicks or anything, it's just one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, da, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, round the kit, then done. So one more time, reasonably fast. One, two, three, four. there it is I hope you enjoyed that one thank you very much for watching um, a nice little pattern to sink your teeth into it will take a little bit of time to get used to if you've not really sort of looked at doing these accents or playing that three over four pattern can be a bit tricky at first but just go slow even though 
one, you just want to learn where the kicks are going to land in relation to what's going on. Don't forget your right hand and your foot will always land together because you're still just going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's just your accents which are going to make it sound more complicated. Um, and then when you are going through it, it's worth just sort of like doing a couple of those ones where you just sort of bite down and just go for it a little bit fast and see where you are or just see if you can maybe get to a certain point within the actual um, pattern itself. Maybe just get to do, 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 do. If you can get that far, you're pretty much all the way there. But it's just one of those things, once it, once you get it once, it will click and it will start sort of rolling out a little bit easier. Um, and then speed and dynamics that we want to concentrate on after that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Like I said, thank you very much for watching. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And um, if you want to get notified for every time a new lesson comes out, then hit that little bell icon and you will do so. Until next time, take care, keep drumming. I'll see you soonish for some more fun free drumming ideas. All right, see you later. Bye.